Welcome to your pick a card reading, guys. Welcome to Therapy Through Cards. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to have a look at what are you about to discover about yourself and your life, okay? This makes the messages a little bit more open, okay? Anything can come through, which is what I love. I don't like to be too specific, but I'm going to really focus on what you're going to discover soon about yourself and how it's going to impact your life. You know, let's get into it. We've got three piles today. So pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So trust your intuition and choose your pile and let's get into it. Let's start with pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You chose pile number one. Let's see what you're about to soon discover about yourself and your life. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I usually can tap into your energy as soon as I touch the pile, which is interesting. And this is big. Like, I feel the discovery here is more going to affect your life. Like, I just saw a butterfly. I keep saying this butterfly, like, goes past my window all the time. And my pick, like, whenever I do readings. So there could be something that's transforming in your life because that's what I associate with butterflies. Big change. Could also be a transition that you're going to go through soon. But we'll have a look. I'll tap further into your energy by channeling. But let's have a look. We have the little pocket bag here. It's got a little keyword inside here. We're going to explore that when I feel the time is right. Very important for your reading. Oh, I already... That's going to be something about yourself. Spirit just said that. Okay. And we have a little card that I decided to put on each pile today. It could also be a keyword or a picture. I have no idea what it is. I'm going to turn it over for you now. And then we're going to get some cards from the pile that you chose. And I'm going to continue shuffling and getting into your energy. Abundance is coming for you. Wow. I just heard that you're deserving of abundance. You will start to see abundance happen in your life. I feel like this could be something where you decide to take an action and it just creates this ripple effect in your life where you just end up getting more exciting oh, like opportunities or more exciting, you meet more exciting people. You know when you, it's getting, giving vision, blah, 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 blah. I can't even get my words out because there's so much that wants to come through at the one time and sometimes when that happens I'm just like, oh. Spirit's giving me this vision of a, when you throw a rock into a pond it gives off a ripple effect. There is going to be a ripple effect in your life that is going to affect you positively when it comes to abundance. A lot of it for you. Pound number one. Wow, I'm so excited to channel and tap in. Let's get into it. Okay, let's see. All right, for pound number one, Spirit. And let's just put it, let's make sure that we get your magical moments. I always forget to say that at the beginning. Magical moments. This is what I live and breathe for. <laughs> you guys don't know what magical moments are. They're just like connections between the cards, the synchronicities, the patterns. I also have certain principles that Spirit uses for me to get your messages and they're pretty magical so we'll see if you guys get some pound number one let's tap in what what are you about about to find out about yourself in your life oh guys you are getting okay i am oh. this is definitely coming towards your career straight away but i'm, I'm sensing you're going to be given like um, a lot more attention is going to be put on you i don't know if you're doing a lot of work already uh look at this i'm 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 <laughs> ah, sometimes i won't want to see a card and spirit will get me to do a hand gesture just so i can see the freaking card achievement look at this reward guys keep going i don't know what you're doing but this card in particular is about he has crossed the finish line he has completed something he's won he's achieved it's kind of giving me the same energy as abundance. So you're soon about to achieve something, complete something, receive rewards for what you're doing. Okay. That was naughty. Spirit showed me that card when I didn't want to see it. <laughs> so I, I think Spirit is sort of smirking in the background. Like, you know, you don't see what's coming for you. It's big. Okay. Because as soon as I touched your pile, I was like, whoa. What is this? So I'd love to see what you're about to achieve or what reward you're going to get. Let me tap in further to see if I can get it, but it may be the cards. What is it, Spirit? Yeah, Spirit is kind of giving me, like you're going to be 
recognized or something. There's something here about just being seen more, okay? People knowing who you are, what you're doing, what you're offering, what you're all about. Can you see the card here? With my channels, guys, take them or leave them. What else can we see? What else can I get? Guys, I'm getting food. Food's coming through. You could be enjoying good food, going out, places, eating. Some of you guys just enjoy sensual experiences. Okay, I always associate food with like a sensual pleasure. So I also associate food with indulging, guys. You could be indulging, discovering what gives you pleasure as well soon. This is all about what you're discovering about yourself. Um, what else, spirit? Okay, I'm getting air signs. Air signs coming through. You don't have to be, but you may have air in your chart. If a zodiac sign comes through in a channel, I do pay attention to it. Could be significant. Could be someone as well coming in with an air sign of Aquarius, especially. Uh, what else is coming through? Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, you need to watch your phone. All right. Sometimes visit respect will become very specific. Yeah, you're gonna get a text message or a notification on your phone. Yeah. Some of you guys may be actually waiting for news. Ah. Coming through, spirit. Okay, I just heard freelance. Could you be doing freelance writing, freelance, you know, when you're, you're I don't even really understand what that means, but it, it just came through as a channel. So just working for yourself in some way, in some capacity. Getting invited. For a contract we get the contract card my goodness <laughs> sometimes my my youtube readings they'll be the same messages just to reiterate what's coming <laughs> extra confirmation so like this is reminding me of the last youtube video that i did and there was some definitely specific like news coming through so this could still be coming if you've listened to the last video and you're listening to this one okay we've got your cards here you can see them Yes, you can. Let's see. Oh, Spirit is telling me to reveal your little keyword. Break up. Ooh. You're breaking up with something. You know, instantly, a lot of people will look at that and be like, oh my God, I'm going to have a breakup. This breakup card means three things right now, okay? You either have broken up with a person or, or something already in your life, and... Oh, it's going to be such an achievement for you. It's great. It gives you that sense of liberation. Uh, the second thing with the breakup is what I'm getting is you could still be getting over a breakup. All right. There's still a little bit of fragile energy surrounding this card. And the third one is, which is probably you're all dreading, but I don't think it's that tragic, is someone will break up with you have to put it out there guys uh you know it doesn't have to be the partner that you're with or the intimate relationship it could just be someone saying hey we don't need you anymore or the yeah i i feel like it's that's not for all of you but it's almost like if that does happen it's just like protection divine protection to redirect you to something else i also sense with the breakup it's you're finally letting something go or you're finished with something remember how you had the i'm just gonna put it out because it keeps coming to my mind the achievement card it's like i'm finally finished completed can i get my reward please <laughs> so let's have a look let's see let's get more information about the abundance the rewards what you're completing and most of all what you're finding out about yourself okay let's see Oh yeah, remember how I, I said at the beginning, the breakup is about you. It's about what you find up about yourself. So you could be breaking, some, breaking up with something within yourself, which is also of creation. Wow. Soul's expression, something new. I'm going to turn them all over. We're going to just have a look at them all together. We have the mirror. Oh. The Virgo energy. We've got a lot of work here with the stone. 
we have you are very close to achieving your goal oh my god you're very yeah there's something that you're creating possibly or nurturing she's like there is okay I, i'm getting ahead of myself let me let me turn them all over first we have strength we have another she that kind of looks like a mirror but i have a butterfly I think it's the same woman. I have another woman, a woman holding a coin. Okay, this is my career. This is my Queen of Pentacles or my King of Pentacles. So, this is the reward coming in terms of your career. Right? We have a God. Benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. Ooh, I am loving this. We have the storm warning. Oh. We have letting go. Oh, I like this. Okay. Surrender freedom from time constraints. With the storm warning. Okay, I'll get into this in a second, guys. I like to just have a little surface look at the cards and then we'll get deeper. We have a friendship coming through. Okay. And this is kind of like your future energy. We have faith and conception. Mother Mary, purity of heart. Oh, there's so much generosity over here. There's so much um giving. So much giving and sharing and what was that word reciprocity with these energies okay my lovely beautiful number ones you guys are learning the art of surrendering in a nutshell if i'm gonna have a look at all this cards you are working your ass off or you want something bad in your life you're putting a lot of time and effort. I'll tell you exactly why this is the case. You have the Virgo card. This Virgo card, look at this. This Virgo energy, this lady, she's in the field. She's been working, I would say, from 4 a.m. And she's going to be working till 6 p.m. Okay, she's the only one in the field. It's a very big field. She is working her ass off. Okay, and then we have the stone here. Um, the stone is the energy for me about nothing is yet set in stone okay there is still wriggle room there's wriggle room in here to work more i know you're probably thinking oh god i'm working a lot or i'm doing putting everything into what it is here that you're creating or you're doing you know to have the soul expression tells me that whatever you're putting your energy into is coming from your soul uh we do see that it's something new here so something new is about to blossom. But the stone card just tells me here, as I channel it as well, there's something, there's room here for something new. Something, okay, okay. Well, sometimes when I look at a card, I will try to say exactly what's on the card, but then I'll get a channel. So then I'll go with the channel. So I'm going to go with the channel here. You're working your ass off here with Virgo. And then with the stone, it's like there's something else. There's something else that's going to come out of left field. That is a field of, is it? I don't really know. Is it a rice field? Could be a rice field. Corn field. I think it's rice. But this stone card tells me that there's something else coming in. Yeah. I also feel like it's solid. Solid. It's, it's going to come as a reward. All right, you know, you can see the gem here. And when I see gems, I always feel like that's kind of like you getting a gift, something precious. You know, and it doesn't have to be tangible, guys. It could be something like you're getting a little bit more feedback or recognition or you're getting some people are talking about you or there could be an exchange of money or people want you to do something for them that you end up feeling like oh this is such a good opportunity i cannot miss this that's what i feel like with the stone so watch out for that especially with women holding a coin these two cards here with god and woman holding a coin is telling me that there's a level up in your uh 
your position. Okay, uh, you're getting more valuable, more, more like, it, it could be that you're stepping up in a leadership position. It could be that you are, people are seeing your value more. People are seeing your worth. People are seeing what you have to offer. You could be making more money here. This is what's happening in your life, okay? Uh, I feel like there's a lot more importance put on yourself and your work. And that's what you're discovering about yourself. It's like, I am dedicating myself to my work and I'm going to make it my, like, make it my life. You're, I don't know what you're working on, but you're about to achieve it very soon. You could have just achieved something or you're just like, He's completed. He's crossed the finish guy, finish line. Have some of you guys already done that? Uh, if not, you're very close. Uh, the mirror is very interesting. The mirror, mirror usually is talking about yourself. You know, you're going to find out. This is all about discovering what you see about yourself and we have a mirror here okay what do you do when you look in the mirror you look at yourself so you just once you achieve this goal and it's really interesting because it's not in your future it's in your in your in your recent past or you could just be coming into it right now you're achieving something your goals are, are nearly completed i mean it doesn't have to be a big goal it could be just some small goals but it's already happened and that's going to reveal a lot about yourself. I do feel like maybe uh, you will. Okay, this is another channel. Okay, so you get a different position or you get seen or you get recognized or you get a new job offer or you get a, get a new role or a new experience. And it requires you to sort of show a different side of you, right? Because you're in a different position. So you need to show people what you're made of but I, I kind of sensing here that with the mirror this position or this role or this reward that you get or this new experience is going to show you a completely different side of yourself and then you're going to have to adapt and you're going to have to try not to let the role uh eat at your eat at who you really are okay because it's really hard to kind of stay authentic when we're in a role where we're trying to impress people or give people what they want. But there could be this juggling of seeing different parts of yourself that you weren't acquainted with because that's what people do. They bring out different parts of ourselves. So just make sure that you have a little bit of, it's, it's giving me a little bit of a reality check. Okay, once you step into this new position, this new power, this new uh, experience or recognition or whatever it is, you may have to also break up with old parts of yourself because you did get the breakup. You know, you no longer need to use these parts of yourself. You're here stepping into a, n a new role that requires different parts of yourself, more of yourself, more evolved parts of yourself, okay? Uh, it could be a little bit scary at first, but I definitely think you're capable of it. You have God. I mean, <laughs> what a figure is God. So people may look at you like you're God. People may see you as, wow, you're incredible. And then you're like, oh, I've got to lower my ego, okay? I'm, I'm not this great thing that people put me on a pedestal to be. I'm just an average person who's going after their goals, who has completed something that they've worked really, really hard at. I'm nothing special. So then it's just about bringing that forth and not letting all this praise and recognition and people looking at you like God to get to your head, if that makes sense. Okay, I think there's a level of humility that needs to come through here, which I think you'll discover about yourself. You'll be like, wow. Um, oh, I'm also getting another channel. When you complete this goal or when you get a rewarded for whatever you're doing, you're going to be like, oh, okay. Uh, I, I know this sounds awful, guys. I'm just, just channeling, take it if it resonates. But you're going to be like, oh, is that it? 
wow, I mean, that's great that I've achieved it and I'm so proud of myself, but it's, it's not going to fulfill you getting that. What people think of you isn't going to fulfill you, okay? Your work should already fill you. So it doesn't matter whatever anyone thinks of you, what people say about you, what you're doing is the sole expression already on a deep level. So you're, there's not going to be much change in yourself in terms of when people start to see you, because you're definitely going to be seen. You're going to have that realization in your head. It's like, oh, okay, this is what it's like. Uh, hmm, wait. Hmm. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Let's get over here. This is your future. This is exciting. We have let go of urgency and we have strong warning. All right. So this is the thing that I'm feeling here. All right. Maybe some of you guys were like, I really need to get it done. I really need to get it done or I really need to get something done. There's a lot of time and there's a lot of pressure put on you. And I feel like that happens once you're in this position, once you're in this, oh, this higher position or people having more of your attention, wanting more of you, wanting more of your time. There are so many clocks here and it's just kind of like, geez, I don't think I have enough energy to go around for everyone or you may need to prioritize your time you, you, you guys i'm just gonna be honest here part number one okay your channeling is coming through a lot more than the cards that there is this sense of you have this idea of what it's going to be like when you complete or achieve your goal and then once you do it and, and cross the finish line which is so so exciting and it's going to bring a lot of happiness and abundance but you're going to realize this about yourself. You're going to realize that you only have so much energy, that you're exactly who you were before you completed this goal and reward. It doesn't really change much in your life. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're not going to go through massive growth and you're not going to enjoy yourself, but it doesn't shift much. It highlights what it is that you value in your life and what you really want. And I just definitely feel like you're going to be starting to be more discriminating, you know. And when I say discriminating, I just mean more precious with your time, who you talk to, who you connect with, uh, how you want to use your time as well with the let go of urgency. Like, I feel like the urgency is coming from other people. Other people want you. Other people need you. Other people want your advice. Other people want whatever it is that you're creating here. And I don't think you... Uh, as much as you're very appreciative and great, grateful and want to help as many people or have oh, like there's deep sense of appreciation coming through so don't knock that okay but there's this energy coming through where you just may not be able to cope with all that pressure it may not be what you want and that's where the warning comes in it's like be careful. Be careful of over committing yourself. Be careful of saying yes to everyone. Be careful of maybe thinking that it's greener on the other side. I definitely feel here, right? This is just my channeling, okay? Right now, part number one, you have it so good. You have it so, so good. You're enjoying yourself. You're, you're absolutely expressing your soul. You're feeling really good. You're creating something new. You're going to achieve your goal and it's not going to make much difference to where you are now. You should enjoy now and now and now now is where all the abundance is. Now is where the rewards are coming in. Uh, yes, you may have extra money in your bank account. Yes, you may create more of a network, have more friends. But there's something here about getting back to basics in nature and getting back to things that money cannot buy which is your time, which is your, my God, your, your choice, <laughs> ability to say yes, no. Um, so just take that into account, okay? And also, purity of heart. <laughs> Be pure with who you are now because 
it's almost like you're not going to change that much. You're going to reveal things about yourself, but your future is going to change dramatically because I'm saying what's going to what what's going to happen in the future a lot. A lot. But you have already evolved and had a level of growth and already really in touch with you you as your authentic self. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? So Yes, you're going to have so many rewards. Yes, you're going to have so much achievement, abundance coming into your life, but it's not going to make that much of a difference. Your life is already vibrating at a very high frequency. So appreciating that. And then once this all comes into your life, because I definitely feel opportunities, people wanting you, money, time, you're just going to be like, whoa, I think I'm better off just having a little bit more of uh less busy I, I do sense that guys i mean this is letting go of urgency this is letting go of all these demands being put on you freedom from time constraints okay i hope that made sense for you my lovely pound number ones let's get some more information the pound number one spirit what oh, wants to come through Doorways, yeah. You're about to enter a door. I think there's going to be a lot of freaking doors opening for you and you're just going to be like a little bit overwhelmed. But Spirit wants you to come back to yourself and be like, okay, what are the opportunities? What are the... Oh, God. Who am I going to say yes to and who am I going to say no to? Because you can't say yes to everything. That's what I'm sensing. Like, freaking hell. This is big. <gasps> oh, that's a bit too many, but I'm going to take them. The goddess. Oh, we got a blank one. I don't like blank ones. You're a goddess to other people. Then we got the hero. Passion for a journey of personal empowerment. Wow. Uh, this is giving me the energy of how other people see you. <laughs> Look at the god. People see you as a god. People see you as a hero. You're very empowering to other people. You could have a very interesting story, like a very inspiring story that people just are like, whoa, how did you do that? I need, I need your advice. And then you get like a million DMs and you're just like, I don't, I can't, I can't, I want to heal everyone, but I, I don't have the time and the capacity. So that, that is definitely something here, guys. You're going to have work or a goal here where you impact a lot of people, but you have to protect yourself and knowing that you won't be able to help everyone and you may have to let go of some opportunities or saying yes to everyone here okay we can see a man trying to open the doors here and there's only one door here so you may given be given a lot of opportunities a lot of offers but Focus on the one that really speaks to your soul, okay? Here it's just about a few, not many, if that makes sense. You're going to be offered many. Abundance is a lot of really good things coming your way. But Spirit is saying that there may only be two or one that is truly, truly for you that is suitable for you and works with your life and your energy, guys. Sometimes when we finish something and we get rewarded, we just want to take everything, but it's it's not practical and it and it can end up having some ugh, like some impacts. Okay. Let's get a few messages. I'm gonna get some intuitive messages to see these are just general messages or messages that may connect to what we've been saying, okay? I'm gonna pull them out. Powerful, yeah. But the strength, like you're creating something super, super powerful. Like I'm also getting company. I'm getting you're building non for profit organizations. You're building a brand. You're building oh, big something big. <sighs> we also have a soulmate coming out. Okay, I don't don't feel like that is love uh i feel this is more about something that you're deeply soulfully connected to okay that you're creating with your goal we have darkness we have clear sentient and then we have stop worrying your angels are with you i do want to get one more okay the darkness is that energy that i'm i'm feeling remember how i was kind of saying your uh, 
This is so specific. It gets to the end and Spirit's just like being so specific with your reading and your message, okay? So you're going to be more in demand. Your energy, look at this. Clairsentia is reading energies. It's being uh, in people's energy. People are wanting more of your energy is what I'm getting. And when that happens, okay, it can be a little bit overwhelming. There's something here, there's a dark aspect of this, a shadow aspect, which I've been talking about here throughout your whole reading, is to where you're at right now is great. So I really want you to, to be grateful for where you are now because I'm feeling it's amazing. You've already, you've done so much. You are so blessed and you're only going to get more. But more is not always the best for you. And I, I know I feel like I'm being so negative, but it's just in terms of, there's just this, the more you're exposed, the more you are, ugh, people have your energy. The more it can clock up your energy. I know that's, does that make sense? That's an easier way for me to say it. The more you're out there, the more you're impacting your people, the more people can affect your energy, if that makes sense. That's where the darkness is coming next to the clairsentient energy. This is something that you'll learn. This is something that you'll learn to manage. And Spirit is saying you don't need to worry about this. Okay, at first you'll be like, whoa, okay. This is, this is big. <laughs> How do I manage all these people or, or these demands or all these opportunities or like I just feel like your friendship circle is going to multiply 30 times or you're just going to have a wider network and spirit's thinking don't worry okay um your angels are working with you and this is someone thinks you're perfect for them they fantasize about you all the time this is just these people like you're god to people you're god <laughs> I honestly feel like, yeah, maybe some people are rom romanticizing about you, fantasizing about you, liking you. Uh, you could have a lot of crushes happening. That's definitely something with this energy. Uh, yeah. That's another thing, you know. The more you put yourself out there, the more demands are put on you. And I think that's what this reading is trying to say. This is what you're going to learn about yourself, your life, your future. It's good for you not to have as many time constraints put on you. I think you guys work really well uh, in your own flow, in your own time. You don't like it, and you don't like a time put on you or restriction. Okay, so you're gonna learn how you work best and how you're gonna help people. While helping yourself, okay? While not being dragged down in other people's energies and demands put on you, okay? So pile number one, I hope you got something out of there. I feel like there was a bit of a lesson there. But, you know, when we get the mirror card, we're always learning things about ourselves and our life. And get ready. Get ready. You're achieving your goal or one of your goals. You're getting rewarded. But just make sure that you appreciate what you have already. Because I feel like that's really going to help you be humble when whew, a lot comes your way. Okay. If anything resonated, guys, feel free to leave a comment. I love to hear your comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel and you love my energy and my style of reading, make sure to subscribe. Okay, I'm also doing personal readings. If you want your own personal reading, go to Therapy Through Cards. I'd love to tap into your energy. Okay, let's get into pile number two. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. We're having a look about what you're about to discover about yourself and your life. Okay, let's see. You guys chose this. Ooh, I'm sensing this is my pile. So I'm with you guys. How exciting. There's a little intuitive message inside the bag. It's a little keyword. I will reveal it when I feel the time is right. You guys did choose this card here. I have no idea what it is. We're going to look at it together. Then I'm going to shuffle channel and get all your cards. Money. Wow, guys. Okay. Okay, this is about what you're finding out about yourself and your life. Money, okay? Money's on your mind. You could be wanting to make more money. There could be money coming in. This is about wealth. It could be, you know, 
I always like to say wealth is many different areas of your life, but because we have coins here, I'm, I'm definitely going to say this is about money, okay? How do we make our money? Uh, what do we think about money? What are our values when it comes to making money? I mean, this is an eight year, 2024, which is all about material wealth. <laughs> Uh, you guys could be a lot more ambitious this year right now. You could be, yeah, just tripling, doubling, increasing your money, try to figure out how you do that. But money is definitely a um, significant here in your reading. Let's tap in and channel. I'm going to tap into your energy. You chose the unicorn deck, which is beautiful, very magical. <laughs> we're going to get your magical moments and we're going to see what you're going to find out about yourself. Uh, let's tap in for pine number two spirit. That's interesting. I'm getting a vision of a frog. <laughs> Frogs! Wow. That is really random. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm getting. Alright. I'm getting rain. Like, I'm getting visions of a rain. And when I get that, Mother Nature, it's giving me this sense of cleansing. Like your maybe your financial uh life or area is getting a cleanse. Hmm. That's what I feel like. I also associate frogs with cleansing as well. Uh yeah. What's not working in your career or your finances is getting removed. You could be learning about this. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh my god, I hate that when you're about to sneeze, but you don't sneeze. Like, wh wh what's that about? <laughs> oh my god, maybe some of you guys just sneezed. <laughs> uh, what else, Spirit? For pile number two, what is it that they're going to find out about themselves or their life? Yeah, Spirit just keeps going to money, guys. Uh, yeah, lessons when it comes to money. Maybe you're learning about money, how to how to budget, how to uh, get what you deserve when it comes to money. You know, maybe some of you guys are not being paid enough for your efforts and what you're doing. I do get a positive energy from that card though. I feel here that this year you're probably going to triple your money or you're going to get a lot more money than you did last year or the year before. I also feel like you could be um, just getting a lump sum of money out of nowhere, right? That definitely can happen. Like the other day I was going through my emails and then I just got this email saying when like I used to work at a job, a, a workplace a couple of years ago and I got an email from them and they said, oh my God, we underpaid you this amount of money. We need to correct this and can we have your bank details? We want to put that money uh, into your account, what you're owed. And I was like, are you serious? This is a prank. And then I had to go, like, go to my partner and be like, are they trying to <laughs> prank me? But it was actually real and official. So that was really exciting. So that could definitely be coming in for you guys. Money coming from nowhere. <laughs> it happens, guys. <laughs> Wow, can you see your cards? I'm just gonna pick two more. Yeah, you're getting a win. Big win. Big win. Get one more card here. We'll choose this one. Okay, you're also trying something for the first time. Maybe you get really lucky. You try something, you take a risk, a financial risk, and it pays off. Okay, hold on to that. If you have an idea right now of, okay, I want to make money this way, go for it because it's going to pay off. That's also my big risk. Like, uh, that's a, you do something and you get lucky. It's like going to a casino or putting money into a machine and you just get lucky. But it, it's coming from an idea or an action or something that you have in terms of making money. So hold on to that thought. Act on it because you're going to be lucky. Let's have a look at the cards. I actually feel like I want to get your little keyword, your important keyword. Let's see what it says. Mentally strong. Okay, this is about your mind. Your mind. You have a thought or an idea that is going to make you a lot of money. Okay, this is your mind. You're mentally... This is, it's like a really, really bright idea, this card. Or really, something is going to come to you. 
a download. Okay, so this is exciting. You're, you're spot on about this idea or you're spot on about this way of making money. Mm, your mind is very sharp. You're very intelligent. Very creative as well. Let's get into the cards. I'm really interested in this reading. We have stillness. I'm going to turn over all the cards. We have joyous fun. We have eclipse in Taurus. Reevaluation. Increase, that's my money card. Definitely money. Money, money, money. <sighs> we have teacher. We're making money from teaching, mentoring, giving knowledge, getting paid for sharing what you know, what you've learnt. Third eye chakra. This could be spiritual knowledge. Doesn't have to be, but I, I definitely feel like this has something to do with oh, I'll get to that. You've got colour synchronicity. Get to that in a second. We've got the eight of swords. I've got the scribe. Oh, I know what this is about. I've got chaos. We've got like, we've got stillness and then we've got chaos. That's funny. That's a contrast, isn't it? Let's see what we've got here. We've got anxiety. Oh, my lovelies. What happens with a mentally strong mind? You get anxious easily because your mind is so you know how when you've got an active mind, it could either treat you as a curse or treat you as a strength, you know? I'm getting that. We have the threshold. Oh, I like this. We have a juggler. Okay. Oh, I like this. I like this. Okay. You have some challenging energies, but ultimately, there is something here. You're being put to act on an idea. My lovely pile number two. What you're learning about yourself is that you are capable of being independent when it comes to your money and your finances. You're able to maybe branch uh, alone because I'm getting a sense of this is you doing it on your own, making money on your own, not working for a business. Okay, If you are working for a big business or a company, this tells me that this could be another stream of income. Okay, powerful, powerful energies. I don't know really where to start. So, okay, I'm going to start over here. We have, look at these purples. Aren't they beautiful? I feel here with the reflecting pool, okay? The reflecting pool is about looking at yourself, okay? We're talking about yourself and what you're going to discover about yourself. You're going to discover, oh, my God, like, the value within yourself in order to make more money. Like, I just feel like there's that idea. You're looking in the reflection. You're meditating, possibly, because this is going to come through your third eye. You're getting a download. And you're like, wow, this is the idea. But I don't know. I sense for a lot of you, you, you already have this idea. It's kind of already there ruminating. And, like, the more that you sort of meditate, it's almost going to, come into your mind and like nag you it's like come on remember this i've been putting it in your brain a million times this idea or this this knowledge okay uh you have knowledge already pound number two that you're going to make money off and i tell you why because we have the teacher and the scribe you got the teacher ability to communicate knowledge and then you got preserving knowledge and information she's writing so guys you can make money from writing. Pretty simple and specific. Uh, anything is through writing these days, you know, communicating. It doesn't have to be writing through um, a pen. It could be, you know, you're writing a book. You're writing a blog. You, everything is through written form anyway. Any sort of communication just tells me that you're already qualified. You already have the information. This is a way that it's going to get you out of feeling financially maybe burden here with the eight of swords eight of swords she feels stuck but what i really really love about these two these this eight of swords is one of my favorites because she's holding a glass crystal ball okay it's a representation of maybe feeling as if she's sort of well she's stuck in this time this lifetime but she holds knowledge from another lifetime the prehistoric 
dinosaur lifetime. I don't know. But it's just a significator of ancient knowledge, right? You have ancient knowledge. Uh, and by the way, this knowledge that you have is exciting. It's fun. It's passionate. It's not draining. It's uplifting. It gives you energy. It's the energy card. It gives you a lot of energy. You are going to be able to break yourself out of feeling trapped when it comes to your finances. You're breaking yourself out, but it requires you tapping into the ancient knowledge that you have. And how you're going to find out about this is what brings you joy? What gives you joy? Paying attention to how you feel. Let's have a look at the eclipse in Taurus. It's really interesting because Taurus rules the second house and uh, Taurus is all about money as well. <laughs> Change of heart. Reevaluating, reevaluating, assessing. How can I make more money? What can I do? Like, I feel like there's not just one stream of income. There's going to be several this year for you. You know, maybe you write a book and then you also teach someone or this. There is a number of ways here. Look, increasing. This is the money card. So you're reevaluating how you can increase your finances. Pretty specific. Then we come over here. This is interesting. I mean, you're probably looking at the anxiety and you're looking at your swords and you're like, oh my God, that's crazy. But nothing great comes from a smooth, calm stream. No. Okay. I always like to see the anxiety card. I always like to see the chaos card. I like to see the threshold. You are pushing boundaries. Spirit is helping you relieve your anxiety when it comes to money. Okay. It's pushing you to act. It's pushing you to act on these ideas. That's what the threshold is doing. Threshold is like making you sort of get to that point where it's like, enough is enough, I'm going to do it, okay? <laughs> Maybe you're like, enough of the chaos, I have to act on it now. I have to, like, come on. If you're already acting on some ideas about how you can make more money, great. There's more. Like, I, I feel like with the juggler card, it's, it's great. You're, you're trying to figure out how you can juggle your time, but also how you can juggle many streams of income. That's what I'm channeling from this card. You do it. You've done it. Look at this. You're doing it. I, I like this card. Usually I look at it and I'm like, okay, this person is juggling a lot in their life. Good on them. It's not like she's dropped being able to pay her rent or dropped the the health and fitness or dropped family time, dropped her studies. You're managing it all, high on number two. This is what you're learning about yourself, that you can juggle more than you think you can. That's exciting. I mean, threshold is being thrown give me the ten of wands when you're thrown a lot you put a lot of pressure on yourself but you're capable of doing it and it's the pressure that actually gets you out of your anxiety you know what the anxiety is giving me a feeling of it's like you're not acting on what it is that you know you should be doing or uh doubting yourself maybe maybe you feel like oh it's not gonna it's not gonna pay off or it's not gonna work <sighs> Oh my god, I'm telling you, this this card is giving me, you take that risk, you have an idea here with the mentally strong, go for it, go for it, you already have the knowledge, you don't need to go and get educated, you don't need to do a degree, you've got it, listen to your third eye chakra, it's completely open, so that's why spirit is saying like be still, you can receive, receive more downloads from spirit, okay, let's get some more information. All right, spirit. The answers you need are coming. Wow, it's Gemini energy as well. The answers are you. You are, are coming. I think it's once you reflect, be bold and make that first move. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm trying out a new um, microphone, and I think I touched it. I hope it didn't affect the sound. 
We have you making a move, finally. Wow. So we get two more cards for you. Hour number two. This is very specific messages. Ask. More money. You'll get it. Ask spirit. Ask your third eye. Be like, hey spirit, can you download some ideas? Come through for you if you don't know right now. It's going to come in perfect timing. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get two more. And then we'll get your intuitive messages. Oh, what do we have here? Go for it. Wow. You can do it. Hi, on number two. What, what is it that you're doing? What are you going to, what's this idea? How are you making more money? It's going to come to you. I wouldn't worry. I'm just going to choose one from this deck and then we'll get your intuitive messages. You're a healer, maybe. Cleansing. Lovely. Uh, the eagle does give me this vision that you have, okay? I also do sense here that you're cleansing out things that are no longer going to block your finances. Removing blocks is what I'm getting here with this card. But also healing. Financial healing. Like, I feel these two cards and the threshold is like, you finally... You Finally on top of your finances. Good on you. Hi, on number two. That's what you're discovering about yourself, that you're able to financially be independent, make more money. And you have all the knowledge that you need right now and all the resources lie within you. Let's get your intuitive messages. We'll get some more information about this. What messages want to come through? You will find out a person's true colors. Interesting. It comes out to do with the answers. You know what? I feel like it's you, to be honest. I mean, I'm putting it on the reflective pool and she's looking at the reflection of herself. So maybe you're figuring out like, hey, yes, this is how I want to, this is what I want for this year. Why do I feel like this is for 2024? It could be something to do with your financial goals. Someone needs to live your life. Wow. It could be your idea of oh I, I i know that this could be a person it could be you know maybe there's someone in your life that is blocking you from being able to make more money uh but i'm also sensing it's about you you and your ideas of money maybe you feel like you can't make enough or maybe you feel like you don't have what it takes you do look you've got you can do it You've got the answers are coming. Be bold. Make the first move. Yeah, self-love is required. Let go of that inner critic. The anxiety is creating that inner critic. Yeah. Focus on the words you were saying. Are they giving out positive or negative vibration? Positive. Positive words when it comes to money and your finances. And let the anxiety pass. Oh, wow. What a magical moment. Find a safe place, real or magic, to take refuge. I feel like this reflecting pool, the stillness, to calm your mind. You have a very active mind, pile number two. Anxiety is unawareness creating meaning. You are going to... Oh, that you're going to get some golden nuggets, some ideas. I would practice meditating right now, pile number two, okay? Because your third eye tracker is wide open, so you're going to receive so much information that's going to be invaluable, and it's going to contribute to your wealth this year. And just know that you're going to get back on top of your finances and you're going to be able to juggle everything in your life. And money's coming at the right time. So pile number two, that was your reading. I hope something resonated there. Very powerful. Okay, I know it was very specific to a area of your life, but that's what came through. If something resonated, feel free to leave a comment. I love your feedback. If you guys like my style of reading and my energy and you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I love to grow my YouTube family. Okay, let's get to the final pile. Pile number three. Welcome to your reading. We are going to be looking at what you're soon about to discover with yourself and your life. You chose the gold bag, which is really nice. It's nice and bright. Oh, I'm getting such good energy from this. I'm getting, you guys are going to be enjoying yourself, having fun, exploring new experiences like it's just a zest of life like you're living life pile number three and it's interesting because I want to 
read your little intuitive message right now. Spirit is telling me. But I'm just going to show you this card first before we shuffle a channel and get all your cards. You guys chose this card. Beautiful. This is like the, it's an image of a meeting, which is interesting. So you could be connecting with other people, collaborating, uh, working in a team to get something done. You could be creating something, planning something. Yeah, very important it looks like. But you're definitely within a team, aren't you here? They're a team. Oh, I'm almost getting like a team project. Working on creating something. Wow. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, let's have a look at here. Neptune. Interesting. Neptune is very mysterious. So you may not see this coming right now. Okay. Uh, this could be a dream of yours as well. Neptune is about the planet of dreams. It's also very mystical, very spiritual. It's also giving me this energy of fantasies. Maybe some of you guys fantasize on expanding. Because this is expansion, right? I mean, you know, we go from one person to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. You could be expanding your work or uh, expanding your team. There's something here about expansiveness, okay? Take what resonates. Your dream could be growing. Yeah. Maybe you have a dream of collaborating. Maybe you have a dream of working with other people if you aren't already. But there's definitely this element of connecting with other people here, isn't it? Okay, Spirit, let me tap in. What are they going to discover about themselves and their life? The pile number three, Spirit. Okay, Spirit just said you're heading in the right direction, okay? With the channels, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You're heading in the right direction, whatever you're doing. Oh, Spirit said you have a mission. Maybe you, or it is something to do with this group of people. You're lead, maybe you're leading a team. Maybe you're hiring people. Maybe you need to outsource. Maybe you can't do all the work by yourself, pile number three. Maybe you want to connect with other people, share your ideas. Ooh. Okay, all right. You're connecting with other people to face some challenges that are going on. I mean, sometimes we can't face our challenges by ourselves. We need to get support. So some of you could be getting support for your dreams or... Uh, there is this element of... Okay, I can't hide anymore. Neptune is very mysterious, okay? It's it's very misunderstood as well. So I am sensing here that you're going to be clearing the fog. You're going to be getting help. You're going to be finding answers. You're going to get through any challenges that you're going through, which is exciting, okay? Um, you're going to be realizing that you're not alone and that you can't achieve things in your life being by yourself. You need a team. You need people. You need to collaborate. You need to get advice from people. It's giving me like Gemini energy. Gemini is very good at like networking, connecting. What else? I'm getting love in this reading. Okay. Love just came through. There's something about love. You may meet someone that you fall in love with. <laughs> or could start something, a love relationship. If you're single or there could be, you could be in a relationship that plays a significant role in you learning about yourself, pile number three. Maybe you meet someone here at this meeting or for work. Could also be if you're studying, if you're a student, you know, you get given group work which I used to hate used to ha no I didn't hate it but it was just like oh, such a time it used to take up a lot of time group work takes up a lot of time but I think this is very positive for you pile number three let's get the cards let's see what's going on we have the avoid the beginning the cosmic mother I'm going to turn them all over for you and we're going to get all the meanings 
act of acceptance. Hers a little starry night, and there's stars above her head. That is like a starry night. Acceptance. Wow. Oh. Believe in the impossible. Can you see the color synchronicity? Wow. The same color. The same trees, a different deck. I feel like it's the same. It's the same night. Wow. More the same color. The third house. Your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. Connecting with people in your local neighborhood, possibly. Uh, you could be reading. You could be a student, to be honest. I mean, you're reading, you're learning something. I mean, you don't have to be a student, but you could just definitely be studying, creating something, using books, acquiring knowledge. Look at all those paperwork books. Uh, liberator there's a lot of blue in your in your spread oh then we got fire passion and growth with the comic oh nice with the daughter romance i knew there was romance here romance okay i definitely feel like some of you guys are gonna meet someone lighten your load and we have the phoenix and your last one is another door a door to personal healing and happiness Wow, you have a door to romance, and then you have a door to personal healing and happiness, and their number sequence. This romantic offering, or like, I don't know, opportunity or strengthening of a connection, is going to be very healing for you. It's going to bring a lot of joy, laughter, fun, excitement. I do get a youthful energy here. If you're if you're if you're young, I definitely feel like this is for you. You don't have to be. I mean, some of you guys. It could just be you gaining your youth again, you know, tapping into that part of yourself where you can let loose and let go and enjoy. Remember how I was saying at the beginning, I just felt I channeled lots of new experiences. You're going out, you're having fun. Uh, we have this card here. Life stages, coming of age, transition. This is when you go through those really pivotal transitions in life. Like examples of that would be, you know, going from a teenager to adulthood. You're going from high school to uni. You're going from uni to your first job. There's something here about those kind of life stages. You're going from maybe working for a company to working on your own. It's some sort of transition like that, okay? It's going to lighten your load. It's going to feel so good. This new life stage or this transition is going to feel a lot freer than the one that you are currently in. It's almost like you're just outgrowing that, that life stage, which you literally have. And now you're coming into this new era or this new time period, which transforms your life here with the phoenix, heals you. This is exciting. We also have a lot of rainbows here. Can you see the rainbows? We've got the rainbow here in the sky, the rainbow on her t-shirt, and the rainbow here. A lot of joy and happiness. Uh, a lot of color is coming through in your reading. Colorful. I just feel like that's your energy. Even though over here it's a little bit serious. Oh my god! Okay, spirit, this is... Okay, pound number three. This is kind of like your past energy, your recent past. Let me go for your present then we go into like your future energy, near future, future. It doesn't have to be concrete, but I like to sort of read that way. So you guys could be, uh, I just get with that energy is like you're longing to go somewhere new. You're longing to experience something new. You're longing for more. Another one could be like you're finally being able to move out from home or you're finally being able to study what you've Practice what you've studied at uni. Like, it's big transitions like that. It'll be different for all of you. Uh, but over here, it just gives me this, like, okay. I We have the void here. Accepting where you're at, which I don't sense here is where you want to be. I get this energy of misplacement. Or it's like you're ready to move on. You're ready for more. You're ready to adventure. Okay? You're looking up at the stars, and you're like, I want more. I ha I believe in this. 
Uh, this is your energy of you could be a, such a big dreamer i'm getting you could be an avid reader as well uh you love to learn i definitely feel like you love to learn things that are a big subject you know like uh you could have a particular subject that you like to learn you're very good at observing information here with the books oh i love this energy so much uh but it's a little bit uncomfortable. You're just a little bit like, I'm not fully where I know I'm meant to be. And that's just because you're ending a cycle. You know, you're moving towards now this growth that you've gone through. I feel like this is you now. Soon. Like, liberator, freeing yourself from outmoded beliefs, releasing yourself from negative thought patterns. I feel like you're just releasing yourself from an old chapter or something that is finally coming to an end we don't have we don't have the daughter romance it's kind of in the center of your reading i i kind of feel here that what do we have i'm trying to have a look at the numbers hmm. what do we got we got 26 oh yeah 26 oh yep 26 and 27 this is a person, guys. This is a person. This energy is a person. Gives you a lot of joy. Like, it could just be, like, really nice company. And you're just starting off and getting to know this person. It could be the beginning of love. It really could. You. If it's not, if you're in a relationship right now, it could just be a really nice connection that you're really compatible with and you're just enjoying their company. You have a lot of love for them and respect. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is a new love potential, okay? <laughs> Let's have a look at another number sequence. You've got a lot of them. We've got 33, 34, and then we have 35. So we go with the door to romance. Someone's going to, you're going to unlock that door. <laughs> it's going to heal you. It's going to make you really happy with the comic. That's them. They may be really funny, quirky, uh, a little bit unique. Uh, it's just, there's so much color over here and there's so much deep melancholy here. <laughs> and then you have life stages coming of age. So some of you guys, this could be your first partner or your first boyfriend or your first real love or your first committed relationship or your first, you know, it's a first thing. Okay, that's for some of you. And it really transforms and up levels your life. Okay? Your life will never be the same with this person coming in. You could meet them in a work environment. You could meet them at uni or something or in a team. Pay attention to that. Let's get some more cards. My lovely pile number threes. Ooh, we have a butterfly right outside my window again. It just doesn't leave. It's landing on a a leaf leaf yeah it's just so beautiful it always goes outside i always feel like it's my mom because i just see it all the time <laughs> we have a prince here he is okay i don't care if it, it could be male or female young person romantic charm and potential for power coming in look at he's got flowers and i'm feeling maybe you know, there's a rose there. It was given to you. Let's get some tarot. I'm really interested. Actually, I want to get one more card. Oh, it's just the butterfly is just sitting there on the tree leaf. It's so cute. And you got the phoenix transformation. We have to be assertive, guys. Be assertive. This door, this person is coming in and take action. More rainbow. Can you see the rainbow? This is going to be a lucky encounter, a lucky connection. Oh my god, is that butterfly is just chilling. I've never seen a butterfly just sit and chill. Okay. Let's get your tarot. I'm excited about this pile number three. What are we on? We're on 109. I'm just going to make sure that my battery doesn't... Uh, sometimes I get no storage and I'm like nearly finished reading. So disappointing. Okay, 
Let's see what your tarot is. I'm so excited. The tower, big change. Release, destruction. Oh, that's way too many. I'll just take that one. Thank you. I do feel a sense. Okay. I'm just going to channel. I feel a sense of anger, a bit of um, feeling upset early over here, though. Okay. Maybe you were recently angry about something, frustrated about something. But changes are happening. Changes have happened, maybe. We have the chariot. We have a butterfly. She's got a butterfly wings. And it's exactly the same butterfly that's outside my window. <gasps> what, guys, I would... I'm putting the chariot on the prince. And the chariot is about fast movement, positive movement forward. And he's... This girl is going right towards this prince. Can you see that? So I would pay attention to butterflies. They could be signs. Oh my god, that butterfly is looking at me. I don't even can see its eyes. Sorry, I'm so excited about animals. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. A new, fiery, exciting opportunity. And it's landing on passion. That is passion. This person is going to excite you. This is fun. This is exciting. You may even travel with them. Or meet them overseas. You could be moving. That could be another life stage. Another transition that you're going through. We also have the moon coming through. Number 18. We also had another 18, didn't we? Got more butterflies. Victory. Oh, I'm so excited for you, pal number two. What's this one? Ten of Cups. Love. This is like ultimate fulfillment when it comes to family, love, emotions contentment okay all right let's have a look at the other 18 where's that other 18 here wow 18 18 kind of gives me the same energy you know the moon is about dealing with some fears some anxiety some repressed emotions that we're not dealing with maybe a little bit i'm getting a little sort of a little bit anxious, I will say that here with these two cards. I mean, you've got the void here. It's 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 like you're, you're it's giving me the hanged man where you're just like hanging. You're waiting, waiting for your next stage of life, or you're just at the end of a cycle that you're finishing. Okay, because here. I feel with the moon, which also represents your emotions and your intuition. There is going to be a big transformation when it comes to your emotions and how you're feeling. Like, there's going to be a big upgrade here. This person comes into light. I mean, the moon was on light in your load. So there could have been some, like, really repressed, hard emotions that you're battling with. Emotional challenges. And that sort of, like, oh, my God, this butterfly is doing zoomies. Such weird behavior. So... I want you to watch out for, for, for butterflies, okay? The exact same ones outside my window, so that's a big sign. Victory is coming. It's just ultimate success. I think it's definitely a transformation in your emotional life. Someone's coming in to liberate you from maybe some really painful emotions that you're dealing with. Or that, you know, it could even be some of you guys have lost someone or something in your life. That's what the tower is. It's like destruction, release, pain. Uh, maybe your environment is toxic and you're moving away from that it could be for some of you with the chariot it's like you're moving towards a new location I feel like some of you guys are going to be traveling you know moving <sighs> oh I'm so excited for you pile number three so excited get ready for this person Okay. And like I said, it may not even be romantic. If you're already in a really nice relationship, it's a friend or it's a person. Let's have a say. Let's get more. These are the general messages or messages that have been about what we've been talking about. Oh, you'll be getting a lot of attention. There is a royal effect you have on others. The importance you feel with yourself, others will come to respect. You're going to be getting a lot of attention soon. We have be careful. Oh, maybe it's more than one person likes you or something. Oh, 
and you know what's, what's about love, guys? You will meet your soulmate unexpectedly. If in a relationship, there'll be a deeper bonding and commitment, the heart wants to express love. Beautiful. There could be something about, I, I totally didn't say this. There could be something about transforming a current relationship, you know, taking it to the next level, like getting married, being more committed, having children here with the baby. Like there is definitely that avenue if you want to go down there, okay? That's definitely a different sort of life stage isn't it becoming a parent we also have a lump sum of money is yours interesting a bumper beautiful and then we have people need your hidden wisdom give the world access to your inner world you're an angel beautiful the bumper next to the lump sum of money just tells me that there is money coming in that is protected and it's for you okay bumper means you can't take it away it's not, you can't destroy it. It's protected. So look out for that. Let's get two more messages. Three more messages before we wrap up your reading. For pile number three, spirit. Be decisive. Interesting. You might have to make some decisions. I mean, big change has happened here. Usually... Coming from pain or frustration or just ready to move on from a place or a situation that you've outgrown does require you to be a bit more decisive. We also have you maybe getting a lot more attention from other people, so you'll have to be decisive and careful with your choices. We also have, yeah, meditate will help you bring your answers here. A lot can come through meditation. And then we're going to have a little bit more info about this with this deck. Oh, meditation. And then you've got the intuition psychic. So you're pretty psychic, pile number three. Trust your intuition. Meditate because you'll get some valuable, valuable information. With the Neptune, of course you're psychic. <laughs> so pile number three, that was your reading. I hope you got something out of that. Very powerful energies. If you guys liked my reading, make sure to leave a comment. And if you like my energy, make sure you subscribe.